one, two, three. One, two, three. Hello everyone, welcome to Skyrim Mod Adventures, and I am the most depressed person in the world right now. <sighs> I recorded an awesome episode. Computer decided to pick the worst possible time to crash. And so I lost all of that footage, all of that audio. <sighs> anyway, I wandered around this fucking cave for over an hour looking for that goddamn switch. I... I could not express my discouragement. But I finally found it. I even started an Asara playthrough uh, because I thought maybe it had glitched, like that bridge up there. It was only going halfway, and so I thought maybe it glitched. Uh, but yeah, uh, finally found that switch to finish the rest of the bridge to get to the thing I'm going to now, just this doorway over here. And finally, we can continue on with Wheels of Lull. We spent two episodes lost in this cave. <sighs> Isn't Whirlwind, Whirlwind Sprint just like the greatest thing in the universe? Okay, well now, there's greater things. We have cupcakes and pie and brownies and ice cream and stuff. I don't know what this lever does. Every time I came in here, it just... I flipped it, no idea what it does. Uh, all I know is these goddamn things are gonna start falling... Oh, no, no, no! God damn it! I did it again! And they blow me up. Just for good measure. In case the minecarts of doom aren't enough, they have to blow you up, just to make sure you're dead. Alright, let's get down here. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Okay. Get to, they blow you up anyway! That's not okay. Uh, Alright, I can sell that. I don't need the light feet potion right now. See, these stupid minecarts. I don't know why it, none of the other... WHAT THE HELL?! Oh my god, alright. Let's do this one more time, and let's not touch the stationary minecarts, because apparently that makes them kill you too. I, what's happening? I'm not... I thought I was sprinting! I'm just... I'm done. I'm done. Alright, I lied. I'm not done. Let's just... do this again. Uh, stupid game on the stupid computer with these stupid minecarts that kill you just by proximity and they blow you up for no reason! Alright. Down the hole we go. Where will it end? Well, I guess I know. Alright, I turn on... Oh, oh, I forgot about this part. I did this not 20 minutes ago, and I already... Did... Look at this! What am I supposed to do? There's no way I can fight through all these guys. I don't know why they're called soulless miners. I mean, they, they obviously have souls. They're the only things that are attacking... Get out of the... What? You're in the way! I'm, I'm stuck. Cut it out! Jeez! Okay, let's just keep moving. Ordinarily, I would stay and fight, but there's no way I'm gonna beat all those guys. And there's more. There's more. I don't. Which? I. I just back off. Uh, I'm still depressed. I'm just so depressed about losing all the footage I had before. <sighs> God. Stupid miners. They're stupid pickaxes and the goddamn souls that attack me. Alright, well this part coming up here, this is actually a pretty kick-ass boss fight. Spoiler alert. It took me three tries to figure out how to do it, but we got this guy, Majir, Majir, 
Major? Like, I don't, I don't think it's pronounced Major. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. But, this guy, he's the size of... Well, he's not quite the size of Godzilla. It's bigger than your average giant, I think. Yeah, usually I stand up... Actually, you know, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Alright, I don't know how he's blocking me all the way up there. I mean, but, but, I, I also don't... How is he blocking me at all? He's just a soul. I, I, or is he? Because they apparently they're soulless, but they're... I don't know. I'm confused. Right, here, that's it. Bend over, bitch. I actually shoved, shoved the sword up his ass. I didn't... That worked out. That worked out very well. Alright, now come here, guys. Slice your ghost balls open. Come here. God damn it. They don't do a whole lot of damage. So that's good. If I was playing on a higher difficulty than Novice, then I'd probably be screwed. But... Well, I'm a pussy, so... Die. Stop being alive. You keep doing this alive thing, and I'm just not okay with it. You know what? Yeah. All of you, you've lost your living privileges. I'm here to revoke them. Why do they always struggle? Okay, now they're kicking my ass, because there's a lot of them. Freaking die! Yeah. See, the first time I played this, they got stuck on the other side of. Uh, there's an invisible wall past that little red wall that wall thing that you see, and I couldn't go through it. I couldn't even shoot through it, and one of them got stuck under there. You know, this boss fight reminds me of two things. One, that thing where you get asked, "Would you rather fight uh, one?" horse-sized duck, or a hundred duck-sized horses. And after this boss fight, my position's clear. It's one horse-sized duck. I mean... I'm, I'm just... I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. Well, I mean, I'm kicking their ass as much as... just as much, but... St Jesus... Leave me alone! I just wanna... not be here! I'm dying. I don't have any potions. Uh, let's see. All right, just leave me alone while I recharge my health. What if that people had to do this in boxing? Or they just wait? Do they? Well, I don't think it works the same way, but well, sort of. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. They just keep. Alright, the other thing this reminds me of is that level in Super Mario Sunshine in the hotel where you're fighting the Manta thing that you, it starts, as a, starts out as one big one and then it splits into smaller ones and then those split into smaller ones and so on and so on and there's like a hundred of them and there's, that took me the longest. I think that was the hardest part of that entire game. I don't know if I'm going to have that much luck in... Wheels of Lull, though. Still don't know what why it's called Wheels of Lull. I guess I don't know. But I don't. Maybe it's part of Elder Scrolls lore, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that well in tuned. If it is. Gee, they just keep coming. Gee, guys, just suck. All right, you know what? Let's go, guys. Let's do this. I can take you. You're not very much. YOLO, motherfucker! I'm dying. Yeah, but you know what I do have? I just remembered this. Agma Infinium. Let's do this. See, I can use it to do that, and then I can level up and re recharge all my health. Two into those. Let's see. Uh, One-handed. Yes. Let's do this, guys. Come on. Jeez, this is 
is like... Can you imagine doing this in real life? Well, I often feel that way about Skyrim. Just, what it, if this was real, this, this would not be true. Well, I think last time the dude was talking to me when I got this far. Whoever the dude is and the, the robot dude, it, it, the voice actor did, here we go. The old lift. Well, old on your terms, new on mine. Down we go, down we go, through the wheels of Lull, until we reach the bottom. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I forget the dude's name right now, but the voice actor did an excellent job. Alright. Guessing this is Dwemer magic? Okay, well, it says to go over here, but I want to know what's over here. Okay, can't go that way. Can I go this way? The gate's up, so... Force field thing. Why does the force field need a pattern on it? It's a clock. Why does the force field need a clock on it? Oh. Not sure what that did.